terrific shot four more this is a wonderful start for Zimbabwe he has launched that Neil Johnson what a smashing shot that was and this was an excellent shot by Neil Johnson back foot waited for the ball full face of the back going straight through and that ball flies through Pushing, looking for two. Comfortably back for the second. Out. Palenan doesn't usually drop those. That's what South Africa have been waiting on, their first wicket. Well, Grand Flower won't be pleased with the shot. Zimbabwe, 65 for one. This ball just wide off stump. Not a lot of foot movement there from Grand Flower. Played wide. Good catch by Callan and slip. And Grand Flower departs to the pavilion for 19. And the score, 65 for one. Having said that, there's a lovely pull shot from Neil Johnson. With these small boundaries, that should kick on into the fence, and does. Seven, 71 for one now. Yes! Rhodes, problems if he hits. Wonderful fielding. When he makes the sort of ground as he makes here with the dive, yes. recovers so quickly and can get a throw in, it's hard to sort of uh, talk about that. And I think, yes, that would have been very tight that he hit. This is Elworthy, the wicket taker. And that's Johnson going to 50. Beautiful stroke. Well, as I was talking about just now, when he times the ball, what a fantastic player he looks. I think that's his 10th boundary of his innings. What a fantastic way to bring up your 50. Driven away again. The whole crowd think Cullen's put that down. We know better. Cut away for Donald's first error. And Goodwin capitalises. Well, we've talked about the strength of uh, people who brought up on Australian wickets, and particularly those brought up in Perth. Bounce here quicker wickets, and of course one of their big strengths is a cut. Murray Goodwin, there's no time in showing everybody where his strength is. Beautifully put away. Yes. Driven away by Goodwin, that'll be four. Good shot. A little bit up his share, and certainly from this commentary position, I thought that was going straight to Herschel Gibbs. Looking for the Yorker, but that might well be four more. It's gone quite fine, no. Fine leg is fine too. Gary Kirsten, the fielder. That's leg buys, and four of them. Alan Donald will be very cross with himself. 21 overs gone, 97 for one. Oh, movement, sudden movement off the seam. We haven't seen the ball seem much all day. Yes. That's a beautiful shot. What a reply from Goodwin. Sign of a good play. And he can be beaten all ends up by an absolute Jeffer. And then the very next ball, get a half volley and still able to get forward and put it away comfortably. And he's done exactly that here. Wonderful shot. Edged away, it's be a couple. Johnson hurrying back for the second. Yes. And that's another one. Callis was not a very long way away from that ball on the point boundary. But he knew he had no chance. He knew he only had to retrieve it. Oh, wow. Well, the L result is what Zimbabwe want, but I'm not too sure about that shot. 
I don't think anyone's too sure about the shot. Least of all, Murray uh, Goodwin. It's too full to pull, and it's almost a toe of the bat. That. Yes. Looking for two. Yes, yes, yes. Out to a fumble. How many of the chapter lies on the fumble, though, Zimbabwe? So still just two runs. This field by uh, Alan Donald. I don't think it would have made too much difference. They're always going to get two. Mike. Yes, 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 yes. That'll be four. Yes, yes, yes. No, it isn't. What a good bit of fielding. Kirsten, the man down there. I guess I. It's very short down the ground here, and Johnson seemed to get a good bit of bat on that. Good shot by Johnson. Nice drive, full face of the bat. Looked like four all the way, but fantastic fielding here by Kirsten. Two of the South African team, the fielding is outstanding. That's up in the air and will be out. Kirsten at mid on. Murray Goodwin goes, and Klusner makes the breakthrough that John Embry's hinting at that might just slow this over, this run right down. This ball just lengthish, not quite there to pull onto him a little bit quickly. Mistimed the ball. And very simple catch. Gary Kirsten at mid on. Good innings by Murray Goodwin, but he's gone for 34 and the score 131 for two. Andy Flower, former captain of Zimbabwe. That sliced away and will be four. Too much width. He paid for it. This is Hansi Cronier to Neil Johnson. This is movement. That's me. Cronier again. Quite a lot of movement bowling around the wicket to these left-handers. Swing the ball in, getting a little bit of nip and pace off the wicket. Well, that's a direction to be hitting straight down the ground. It's very short going straight. And good support. His hands go very high when you hit them like that. I'm not sure this happens to Alan Donald too often. Does just come back over? Probably a little bit uh, of a loosener. Wow, that was a good shot. That was unbelievable. I don't think Hansi really understands exactly what happened there. Well, it's a shot you more often see against spinners. That's in the air. And caught. That's the biggest side of this field. Go on, pull up the man out in the deep. Then there was no real intention whatsoever to keep that ball down. And unfortunately, he's picked out the lone figure there. Comfortable catch. Sean Pollock. The good innings. 76 of 117 balls and has laid the foundation here. The Zimbabwean team. On Sunday, Alistair Campbell, a new batsman. Not on strike. And the flower is, and he has put that in the right spot to get another boundary. Through the vacant skip cordon. That's close and that's out. That was full in length. Aren't they happy? He isn't though. Perfect delivery to get first up. Pitch right up. Just straightening. Probably would have hit middle and leg. Pass Shepard, no doubt there. Two wickets go down in the overs, and Barbie 175 for four. That's a good shot. Put the deep out there. They are taking on his arm. It's going to be close. I would think he's gone. That was a good throw. 
from Sean Pollock. They're all racing in his direction. I think they know that that is out. Matter of fact, David Shepherd hasn't even called for the third umpire. He has given it out. Tremendous piece of fielding. Sean Pollock throw absolutely direct from the boundary. Ball was in his hands only for a short time. Flat throw from the fence. And look at this right to the side of the stumps. Very little work for the keeper to do. Andy Flower well short. It's 186 for five. Stuart Carlisle, the new man for Zimbabwe. This is Lance Klusner. Brilliant fielding. Stop fielding, DJ. Cullinan. That's a good shot, advancing down the wicket on the rise. And Daryl Cullinan, goodness me, isn't that a top save? That really. Ella John T. Rhodes, Herschel Gibbs. That's a good shot. That's straight. That's going to be in the commentary box. Goodness me, I was ducking. What a good shot. Six. Well, that landed literally just below us. You can actually see the hole in the woodwork there. It was dead on line for Michael Proctor. Beautiful shot. Just a little shimmy down the pitch and then hit right through the line. Classic stroke. That's up in the air. Not hit quite as well. Gibbs after it won't get there. Away. That might well be four and is. Good shot. Out. Well, I was about to say he's hit that hard and he did. And very well caught by Cullinan at extra cover. And once again, the big man strikes for South Africa, Alan Donald. Guy Whittle down the wicket, trying to give himself some room. It's a little bit quick for him, bounced a bit. He hits it straight to Daryl Cullinan. He doesn't make mistakes. Good catch, went very quickly. So Whittle gone for 20. 2 1 4 for 6. Heath streak. The new batsman for Zimbabwe, hard-hitting right-hander. That'll be four. That's a beautiful shot. And it will be four at the end of it all. Clues net. So, the Zimbabwe innings comes to a close, having elected to bat, having won the toss. Good support they've got over here as well. Plenty of Zimbabwean flags and red hats. And they finished with 233 for six of their 50 allotted overs. South African supporters, I think, will be reasonably comfortable with that. Nancy Cronier will be reasonably comfortable with that. He'll feel... It's certainly achievable. Pitch looks pretty good still. Sun's out now. Lots of, lots of blue sky. Uh, lots of anticipation from uh, this crowd here. Lots of Zimbabweans. Lots of South Africans. And it's going to be uh, Kirsten on strike. Neil Johnson to bowl. Well, he aborts there. So he didn't bowl. Well, we thought he was going to bowl. He perhaps thought so as well. And that's the first one. What a start for Zimbabwe. Gary Korsken gone from the very first delivery. Caught at Gully. What a start for Zimbabwe. Neil Johnson strikes first ball, short, comes back, bounces to Gary Kirsten. That hits him right in the splice, and that's a great catch. So what a start for Zimbabwe. First delivery, Kirsten gone for naught. 
One ball gone, South Africa lose their first wicket. Really did bounce on Gary Kirsten. Didn't have much chance to control that guy. Whittle taking a super catch. Mark Boucher, the new batsman for South Africa. not even entertaining thoughts of an appeal end of the third over 10 for one we have a look at that you'll see again the bat onto the ground and then into the slip cordon right under the bat yes. that's through and once it's get through, it's going to be a boundary. Much to the delight of the South African supporters. Good shot from Mark Boucher. This ball really does fly off the white ball. Getting across nicely, head over it. Timing it well. And finding the gap. Fielded a bit of a mix up here. He's gone. Mid on, we think it was Adam Huckle. Bouch is hitting it to the right. Very good save, but a very good quick pick up by Adam Huckle. Confusion out in the middle, resulting in Herschel Gibbs run out by a mile. Problems for South Africa here. They now have lost uh, two quick wickets. Very good fielding by the Zimbabweans. Gibbs gone, run out for two. South Africa, two down for 24. Was a good shot by Mark Boucher. He thought it had gone through. That's why he took off. Then he stopped. Bit of a misfield. Wow, not too sure where they are going. Lots of confusion there. And usually when you find that, there is a run out coming somewhere. Didn't have a chance, Herschel Gibbs. Jack Callis, the new batsman for South Africa. That's out. Umpire Shepard agrees with me. Not a very good shot at all. Zimbabwe making inroads. And South Africa are certainly on the back foot. As Mark Boucher makes his way back to the pavilion. Straight delivery from Heath Streak. It's not quite short enough for this shot. Hits him on the back leg. It's bent and that's plum LBW. David Shepard says, you're out. Heath Streak's delighted. Zimbabwe take their third wicket. South Africa 25 for three. May kept a fraction low. Mark Boucher might have thought it uh, would have bounced a bit higher, but certainly not short enough. David Shepard had no doubt, and I don't think anyone else around the whole ground had any doubt. Delight for Heat Streak, who's had his problems. Called a number of wides, but this one is spot on. Larry Cullinan has a big job ahead of him here now. Three wickets down. 25 for three after eight over South Africa. Zimbabwe were 35 without loss. Lots of work to be done by the South Africans. help them along if that is the correct way of putting it the Robin Jackman and John Embury and he's reached that he could have let it go he might have got a wide it's gone off the toe end of the bat and Callis is gone drama oh, they have a long towel but they're going to have to need it today South Africa's fourth wicket. And the bowler, Neil Johnson. The ball just swinging, leaving Callis, and he's followed that. Not a lot of foot movement. Played well away from his body. Got the neck and well taken by Andy Flower behind the stumps and Jack Callis on naught. And it's 25 for four. The super slow mo will reveal all. No foot movement. 
rotation of the ball changes as it hits the back. Andy Flower making no mistake. So, tremendous start this for Zimbabwe. It's exactly what they wanted. 2.30 they felt might be 20 runs short of what they would have liked. Johnson's going bereft there. So, Hansi Cronier at the crease. Cronier gets this through. Second slip for four. Now, should there have been one there? Surely, four down there had to be done. Incredible. New batsman at the crease, ball swinging. And we've got a fourth or fifth slip and not a second slip. It's poor cricket by Campbell. Good ball. Again, not much foot movement, but you know, perhaps it would have gone a little bit wide of second slip, but must have that man at second slip there putting more pressure on the South African captain. There's the worm. Pretty level, but uh, a little collection of wickets is the problem that South Africa have. Exactly five and over required. Bowled him out, Yorker. Wow, Johnson, Neil Johnson has set this ground alight. That was excellent bowling. Neil Johnson, pace, got through with the Yorker all over the top, excellent ball just laid down on the ball Cronje South Africa in deep trouble and isn't he enjoying this so Cronje goes for four bowled out by Johnson 34 now for five this is a, another angle of it's a, it's a perfect Yorker isn't it absolutely perfect Jonty Rhodes coming in at number seven. Rhodes off the mark first ball, push and run. And that's four. He needn't run for that. Good stroke. Good hands, John T. Rhodes. Nice quick hands. Good shot. It wasn't a bad ball, just a little bit of width on the back foot. Just got it through the field, timed it beautifully. Ball screams away for four. Good position. Got high, got well over the top of the ball, keeping it down. Slight adjustment in the field now. The gully's gone to a sort of um, short square cover. That is out. And Rhodes knew it. He almost walked. Well, sensation here. 40 for six, the favourites. It's excellent bowling by Heath Streak. Ball, foolish length, straight, Rhodes goes back, dead straight, beats him for pace, just late on the shot, playing around that front pad, and that ball would have knocked out middle stump. Umpire Shepherd puffs his cheeks, and Jonty Rhodes out for five, and South Africa 40 for six. Uh, Sean Pollock. Play an important innings in the World Cup. And for this one, oh, I'm sure he'd want to play some in the later stages as well. On the leg side, and uh, an enthusiastic Zimbabwean team looking for the court down the leg side. This ball going down the leg side there. Looks like it's flicked him on the pads, Pollock, but Zimbabwe not shy of an appeal. That's a beautiful stroke. And four. That's an excellent shot by Sean Pollock through mid-on. Ball of foolish length from Guy Whittle. 
the over pitch. Great timing. I missed it. Leg. He runs the first one quickly. He'll have a good chance of the second. Fielder having to dive to cut that off. So six off that over. 46 for six of 14. No one in double figures yet, except for that fellow called the Extras. He has been doing very well throughout this tournament. I would think that's a no ball. It is called. we go again that's a good shot that's a good shot from Sean Pollock and it has brought up the half century for South Africa it's 53 for 6 after 15 and we're longer brought into the attack after the 15th over has been bowled so the field restrictions no longer apply That's true. And as we said before, once it's true, it's usually a boundary. And at point had no chance. Oh, way too short. Not much turn there. So we need to get it pitched up a little bit more than that. We saw a lot of that when Zimbabwe were batting, so they shouldn't be complaining when it happens when they are in the field lots of inside edges flew past the stumps that's a good shot that's why the mid off hasn't been creeping in but he found the gap Did he get a touch on it? Maybe he didn't. No. The previous delivery. Adam Huckle just getting a little hand on it. That's heaved away by Darrell Cullinan. It's a bit short and a bit leg side-ish. Dal Kalinan doesn't miss out on those. Wasn't that short, but it was going leg side and he helped it on its way. Oh! Well, that was the flipper. And it just missed the off stump. 25 overs gone, halfway stage, 88 for six. Last ball of the previous over, Sean Pollock going for the pull shot to a ball that wasn't that short and that's desperately close to the off stump. Cleverly played, he'll get a couple here. Longo, the fielder. And that brings up South Africa's 100. And the crowd have uh, come alive again. They've been quiet the last uh, half an hour or so, and I think too much been happening. Scoreboard just ticking over. South African flag still uh, waving high, flying high. Lost outfield. Oh! Beautiful shot by Sean Pollock. That wasn't that short, but he rocked onto the back foot and smashed it through the offside. And that uh, is a shot of a quality player. It seems to come out of nowhere, this. One minute he looks like he's just going to play it sort of through the hole to the sweeper. But he timed it so well. He manages to get it in the extra cover area rather than the square cover area. And he, That's yeah. a good shot and out. I say good shot because he hit it really hard, but he hit it straight back at Whittle. The breakthrough that Zimbabwe wanted, Daryl Clinton going for the big one. It's a bit full to hit over the top. It goes straight back to the bowler, Whittle. And South Africa now in deep trouble. Clinton gone for 29, 106 for seven.
The man out, Daryl Kalinan, going for the big one. Straight back to Whittle, the bowler. And big trouble for South Africa. Good catch. It went very, very quickly. Straight to him. And he managed to hold it. From that, you can see how quickly that ball went back at him. Almost a reflex action. Kept his eye on it. So Kalinan gone for 29 of 67. Pollock is not out 35. Lance Klusner just arrived the crease on strike. And he hasn't as yet been dismissed in this uh, the 99 World Cup. 12 not out against India. Well done. That's good fielding. Yeah, Zimbabwe is putting a squeeze on Lance Klusner. It's going to have got six, six fielders inside the circle, saving a single, putting pressure on Lance Klusner. Inside edge again. A bit of turn there for Adam Huckle. 115 for seven. All about. A bit of a demolition job between the two flowers. Grant the fielder, left handed, gets the ball into his brother, but he just took those bows off in the hope that he might have just been easing in, but comes early in. Klusner. Ah! That's in the air, but he has found the gap. Just about falling the gap. Drop the first lock, boundary lock. for South Africa in the last six, six overs. And from the resulting ball, Zimbabwe gone a little bit more defensive. There's no fielder out there. Long on has gone back. Tricky. Long on as well. Last track. That's an outside edge, but it runs for South Africa. They won't mind how they come. Good ball this. Lance Clunes going for the big ball. Didn't quite turn as much as he thought out of the rough. Ball run the bay, beating short third man. Well fielded. Brilliant work by Grant Flower. South Africa 131 for seven. Now, was that a missed dumping? It might be two runs as well. I wonder how costly that just could turn out to be. ones and twos, they've got to get boundaries at some stage. Good fielding by Zimbabwe and uh, the 50 up for Sean Pollock. 50 for Pollock, he acknowledges. It's his fifth 50, it's highest score 75, also against Zimbabwe. And 78 deliveries, four boundaries. Beautifully fielded. That was two runs at least. And out. And Mr. Campbell, the captain. Down the wicket. And brilliantly caught by Henry Alonga. There was a pause in my voice because he's underneath us and I couldn't see him. So Pollock goes. And I think with him, South Africa's last hope. The big one, Pollock, and a good job. Whittle the bowler. Pollock hits it uh, hard and straight to long off. It's a low one. It's going very, very quickly. Henry Longa. 
Makes a superb catch. What a catch. And what a moment for Henry Alonga. The timing perfect. Pollock gone for 52. South Africa now 149 for 8. So applause for Pollock. Generous applause. Big ask for anyone to score at uh, nine and a half and over. Never mind number 10 batsman who is very capable of scoring runs at a quick rate. Very good striker of the ball, Steve Alworthy. It will be one to Alworthy who will keep the strike, which isn't quite what South Africa want. You can't turn runs down. 150 for eight. Driven away and out, beautifully caught. Andrew Whittle, who's bowled so well, now throws himself to his left and catches a super catch. Full delivery from his streak. It's in Steve Elworthy's arc, he just hits it in the air and what a catch, diving full length, that ball was really going. And South Africa, well, Nearly didn't bury it, 150 for nine. Well hit by Elworthy, and four runs until it got to Whittle, and then it was out. Probably well, saying to himself, well, I mean, this is my job, really. Scored it over 10 to the over for the last. Uh, Seven eight overs. Street. Oh. 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 Good bowling from Henry Alonga. Bowling quick and straight. Look at those eyes. Hasn't helped him much, though. Good okay, foot there. Last streak. Umpire intervened there as well. Two runs and very important for South Africa that Klusner maintains the strike. Lost it now, Donald facing. Well bowled. Outstanding. Bowling by Heath Streak around the wicket, tucking Lance Klusner up. He gets very squared on, trying to get that bottom hand through and hitting that ball. But excellent block hole bowling there by Heath Streak. He's whacked that. Six. He's a dangerous player. I think it's. I think the cause is lost now. But my goodness me. I think I might have upset him by saying that. Excellent shot. Full toss. Picks it up extremely well and Klusner goes on to a magnificent 50. Oh, that, I don't know how that didn't kill Heath Streak. I really don't. Driven away and caught at the third attempt. It's over. Zimbabwe have beaten South Africa for the first time.
since they've been playing against one another and they've done it by 48 runs and they truly deserved it they played very good cricket John Embry excellent performance by Zimbabwe everyone before this game myself included in the field of Zimbabwe had a great chance but outstanding performance by Zimbabwe first team to go into this tournament with two spinners batsman got the runs on the board Seamers did the job early on and the two spinners back those seamers up by very economically and Alan Donald gains the ball over the face and another excellent catch Zimbabwe have fielded brilliantly today thoroughly deserved the victory and Henry Alonga finished South Africa off in the same manner that he finished India that's the story Kirsten out first ball of the innings a mess up with Gibbs and Boucher resulted in a run out Boucher then hit a cross one from Streak Cullis chased a wide one from Johnson Cullinan batted nicely as Cronier was yorked by Johnson the other end and Rhodes one that kept a little low on him as he shuffled across the crease from Streak Cullinan and Pollock put some form of partnership together then Cullinan brilliantly caught and bowled by Andy Whittle hit it straight back at him and then Klusner joined Pollock he finished with 52 not out Pollock went caught on the long off boundary looking to force the pace which they had to do Elworthy brilliantly caught by Andy Whittle in the covers and then Donald Neil Johnson did the damage up front not only with the bat 76 he got but also with three for 27 off his eight overs. Heath Streak, three for 35, and some very good bowling right at the death here when he managed to get several Yorkers into the block hole. And no longer four overs, one for 17, but really good bowling from Andy Whittle, the off spinner, 10 overs, and his figures only got messed up in his last over when he was hit for 12.